Hello, online pipe community. Ethan, parsimonious piper here. It is Cobb Tuesday. I have got my Cobb Tuesday Cobb. Got my Cobb Tuesday cap. Back to a winter one for a while. Today's Cobb is my trusty old Missouri Meersham country gentleman. And in it, I have got some more of Milan Tobacconist's Triple Crown. Fantastic Balkan. One of my favorite blends. Andrew Southern Piper is having a one year giveaway. He has stuck it out for a year. I tell you what, I, I think that's a bigger milestone sometimes than just trying to keep track of sub counts. That persistence is definitely laudable. Congratulations, Andrew. Now, I do not want to be entered into the giveaway. I've got too much crap as it is, but y'all should check it out. Very, very nice. However, I do want to play along because Andrew asked one of my favorite questions, and it's one that we answer oh, every year, sometimes more than once a year. And he wanted to know a favorite holiday memory. Now, I have probably shared this before. If so, I make no apologies. It's worth sharing again. Some things are like that. Now, I grew up military brat. My dad was a career Air Force officer. And when you live in nine places before you graduate from high school, the word home takes on the context of its usage. For example, we're going home for Christmas meant that we were going to travel from wherever we were around the world, usually somewhere in the South with the exception of a few years in Germany, but we were going to travel from there to St. Louis, which is where both of my parents were from. We're staying home for Christmas. Simply meant we were going to be wherever we were. No travel. Uh, like a lot of kids, when I was younger, I looked forward every Christmas to that massive Sears holiday catalog. That was just, it was amazing. Especially when we lived overseas, getting that massive catalog and thinking, oh man, we don't get to see any of the stuff in the stores. When, so seeing it in the catalog was, uh, that, that was something else. I have those fond memories, certainly. But my favorite Christmas memory is one that happened every year growing up, and, and it's one that I have continued with my family now. When we came down the stairs or around the corner into the family room and saw that tree with the gifts around it. We were always excited, but there was always something that came first before we would tear into the presents and the stockings. And that is, we would sit down as a family on couches, on chairs, on the floor. And my dad in his deep bass voice would read the Christmas story out of Luke 2. And while I never had any reason, any reason to doubt that my dad loved me, what really showed me 
that he did was that he cared enough to show me that there was another father who loves me as well. And he made that important in the life of our family. So I have done the same thing. We have continued that tradition with our kids when they were little. Now that they're grown and out, we still do it every year. It's the first thing we do in the morning. After getting a cup of coffee, of course. <sighs> Life with boxers. Always amusing. But we have carried on that tradition. And we will continue to carry on that tradition. To make sure that we center our Christmas day around the reason we're celebrating to begin with. I hope for you that you find that reason in this holiday season. And my hope will be the same for you next year as it is this year and the year after that because that is what Christmas is all about. Now I'm going to finish enjoying this lovely triple crown from Milan Tobacconist. Go look them up. Worth a shot. Y'all light something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.